what's going on guys welcome back to the channel we are here once again some more prison break season two episode seven god knows i can't stop watching this show today six episodes well one episode ago i said i was going to stop for today but because of the development that is going on in the series right now i can't stop watching it I have other reactions I want to do today, but I'm stuck on Prison Break because it's so good. But without no further ado, we're going to jump in. If you guys want to see more, if you are watching this right now, that simply means you're watching this on YouTube. But by the time you're seeing this episode, we're probably done with season two. Well, it's no probably. By the time you're seeing episode seven of this on YouTube, season two is done on patreon probably i'm probably in season three by now so if you want to see more you don't want to wait you can join the patreon all right if you can't join the patreon go to my original channel the link is down in the description um and join the membership over there join the membership over there for early access join patreon as well both get access okay so let's jump into the episode and i will see you guys at the end for the review Try that again, I'll pry those vocal cords right out of your throat. <laughs> She's coming up. What's she doing? This has got to be your daughter or something, bro. She's coming up here. Stay there, or maybe stay it's the... No, it's police. She's police. It's her daughter, man. She's wiping her feet on the mat. Told you what I say. Home? Told you, dude. I that's what I tell you. This is what hap this is what happens when you watch too much damn TV. It's just based on everything that I see that was go that was going on. I was like, this has to be somebody that she's familiar with because even right there when she was coming in, I was thinking that maybe it's just because you know it's kind of like a a gated community, so it could be just the regular guards coming to check on them. Maybe there was something going on. Maybe she called about the the electric company, but I was like, she couldn't have made that call to a cop or a guard because T bag was with her the entire time. And if he heard her calling anybody, calling the police, he would have been in this position already. But he was already like kind of tempered off the whole thing when he walked in the room. You put two and two together, you might come up with the same thing is me yeah she stays there man the luck bruh god she's gonna take her gun out mom It's okay. It's okay. Back away and put your hands up. Just go easy. Go nothing. She ain't the one carrying the cards here. Back away and put your hands up. I put my hand up. Gonna take a jugular with it. Look, I don't want anyone to do anything stupid, okay? Don't move. Uh. Uh, let's be civil. Stop. Relax. Miles from here, buddy. You have a half a dozen picks, shovels, and power tools missing from that store. They're here and they're digging. Five million dollars buried somewhere beneath the streets of Tuella. You really believe that? They believe that. And that's the important thing. They could be anywhere now. We don't have the units to go door to door. And we won't need them. He's gonna tell us where to look. Come on, you sound just like Daniel. Not tonight. Not tonight. You know what, if you don't mind, I've actually got to go. Um, are you okay? Your cart's empty? Uh... I'm good. Yeah, I just got to go. Sir. Why couldn't it just be a silo in the middle of a field with no one around? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Y'all yeah, obstacle every time, bro. 
Charles once said to me. He said there's no such thing as an ex-con. Because I used to think there was a way we could wipe the slate clean. Make up for everything we've done. But it just keeps adding to it. That's over the wall, Link. For everyone. It's the truth. Y'all can't go back now. Y'all have committed real crimes now. <laughs> One or two hours tops and we'll be out of here. And you have my word. No one will harm you. Keep your eyes open, okay? <laughs> Sucre, you got elbowed in the eye. Nothing. The doctor is suspicious. She should be. She was on the line with the governor when you walked up. You were listening. Both lines are tapped. We're not rookies. Did her father tell her what he found? Not over the phone. But he knows who you are. And so does she. Seeing how she was supposed to lead you to Schofield and eventually to Burroughs, it looks like we're back to square one. Not necessarily. There are other people they care about. The kid. LJ. In terms of the governor, Bill. Burroughs, kid, Paul. Focus. Your father got a call from the White House. They withdrew his nomination. What? I talked to him two hours ago. He didn't say anything about that. Well, it just happened. According to them, his confirmation was going to be a problem. We had the vote. Yeah, they know about Shouldn't it, so they, he probably won't even make okay, it back. So President Reynolds pulled the plug on a sure thing in order to start over from scratch. I, how often does something like that happen in politics? Never. Never. <laughs> what if I told you something? A secret nobody else knows. Oscar Shales. Yeah, what's the history here? Guy I was chasing a few years back. Smart as hell. I kept just missing him. Would have almost been fun if it weren't for the fact that he were killing people all along the way. Bodies kept stacking up, and I started to feel that it was because of me. Because I couldn't do my job. Never did catch him. But I did lose it. Saw things when I would drive at night. Bodies. Nightmares to the point that I couldn't sleep was a complete break from reality. So you had a psychotic break? That's what these little guys are for. So now you know. Now it's off my chest. Okay, good for you. Gotta try it sometime. I'd be like, good for you, bud. Thanks for the story. <laughs> you was telling like me- Like I said before. <laughs> I got nothing to say to you, bro. I ain't gonna tell you nothing. You know where those guys are. If you're looking for a rat, you got the wrong guy, man. Nah, I'm just trying to spare you some guilt. Bagwell was free less than 24 hours before he killed his first victim. If you don't tell me where he is now, he's gonna kill again, and that blood is gonna be on your conscience and nobody else's. I don't see how that's on my conscience, sir. <laughs> you have an inability to do your job. <laughs> I don't understand. How are you going to put this on me? Like, if I'm sitting there, I'm going to be like, how is this my problem? Regardless of what he did, I was put in prison for, for a lesser crime. So you think I'm going to care now because I'm going back to jail? Why should I care? I think now is the time, would be the time for me to be selfish, don't you think? I guess some people, I guess you would have people that would give them up because, I, oh, I'm going back to jail. So might as well write out everybody else. What purpose does that serve? The only thing that would probably push him to kind of give give up Teabag is because Teabag is always ragging on it. Michael gave you a shot. You didn't come through. You ratted him out. He still gave you a second shot to be in this, which really, you know what I'm saying? It, in certain aspects, they could have just ended them, stabbed them, or do something like that. And, and you know what I'm saying, got rid of him. There's plenty of reasons that tweener has right now not to rat out these guys come on now tweener just he, ride, he's holding strong though it's impossible I, I don't have a meeting scheduled with my lawyer 
Kellerman is coming to He's see court him. Court-appointed public defender in Illinois. I doubt he would come to Arizona without calling me. Who is coming to see LJ? Yeah. We're all set in Arizona with the Burroughs kid. Good. Kids as good as God. Are they really gonna kill AJ, bro? I mean LJ. Or not? Hello, Who is this dude? They didn't tell you why I came here. No. I'm an ADA here in Mojave County. I'm here to serve you with these. What are those? Your release papers. Uh, they're trying to let him out so they can get him outside. Why would you release a guy that's suspected of two murders? That doesn't make sense. Come on, think LJ. They killed his father, bro. Hey, these motherfuckers, man. Yo, this is... Yo, what? Is he trying to kill himself? Is that what happened? Please save him, Sarah. We need this dude, man. Yo. You don't need no damn pills. You could do without your pills. Don't fall for it, Sucre. What? I need my pills. Forget it. No, you don't understand. I need them. Why? They're for my baby. They're metformin to prevent a miscarriage, please. Unless I forgot what freaking metformin is. <laughs> but I've never heard of metformin being used to for prenatal care. Never. I think this is probably something. Wait, before you do, I just have one more question. You seem like a really good guy. Is that why you elbowed me in the face? <laughs> I'm not a good guy. Hour and a half to a tank of gas. That ain't right. There has been a breaking development in the double homicide prosecution of Lincoln Burroughs Jr. due to the sudden disappearance of crucial blood and. Hey, Link, I didn't know you as had well a boy. As the murder weapon itself, the Cook County District Attorney's Office had no choice but to drop all charges against the 16 year old. Burroughs is scheduled to be released from the Clifton Detention Center in Kingman, Arizona, where he's currently being They're trying to pull you out, Link. We got to see ahead of... We got to... We got to stay ahead of these, man. They're trying to pull you out. He's through a car. Where are they? Just hold on, yeah. okay? You can Link and think, Link. man. We are five minutes away in there. We've been five minutes for four hours. Just give me some time. Be patient. You're gonna give a damn about the money. I'm doing what's necessary. You're afraid to fail. You're afraid this big plan of yours ain't gonna work out. You wanna that get That ain't it, to man. This thing off, be my guest. LJ's out there. I'm gonna get him. Then I guess this is where we part ways. Lincoln, come on, bro. You gotta think, man. This is a trap. I get it. I understand why he wants to just go get him. But, dude, you gotta think, man. Like, if LJ gets released, right, one or two things is going to happen. You know what I'm saying? It's either it's a trap or they're pulling him out in the open so they could kill him. Is But I don't, I think they're going to use him first to pull you out. Even if they're deciding to kill him, hey, then they're just going to kill y'all both. No, nah, the kids, you still come with me. Oh, okay. <clears throat> I could do this. And if you can, then we still meet up exactly where we planned. Full chai booze. Full chai. Full chai. Elder is going to be with me. I don't know about all that, but. I might forget. Thursday night, 6 o'clock. It's our last shot. If we're, uh. Um. If we do this right, we're gone forever. This is just a terrible idea. This was just dumb on so many levels, bro. How you gonna get him, sir? Do you think they're gonna be following LJ everywhere he goes to find you? Hi. Um, I just want to let you know that the ME, she's finished her preliminary examination of the body. 
She found no signs of foul play. I think they forced him to kill himself, to show, bro. We've also spoken to the detail guard stationed outside, and he didn't see anyone other than your father enter or exit the mansion since he came. Yeah, to right. Him. Can't even look me in the eye. Man. Never been. Could I have a moment, please? Yeah. I mean, all these tragic things keeps happening to Sarah, man, to just push her back into her addiction. It's just the key. What is this key for? I saw it fell when he, when he, when he, when she took him down. I mean, we're talking no additional time on your sentence for the escape. You want it in writing? I'll put it in writing. We will put you up at Club Fed. You'll spend your days playing racquetball with stockbrokers and lawyers. Four years from now, you'll be out on the street, twenty-two years old, with a clean slate, and your whole life out of you. I'm not even gonna lie, that's a good deal. <laughs> that's a good deal, but I I would love to see that in writing, sir. <laughs> There's a woman in the house. That's a good deal. I can't show up. Just gonna turn her into a hostage. Tea bag. Ain't coming out alive. Let me worry about that. Mm -hmm. No, hell no. The only way that that woman comes out free is if someone shows up on that porch that they trust be me. What were you in for? I don't want to talk, lady. I'm a prisoner in my own house. At least you could offer me as a little conversation. Man, I don't want to talk to you, ma'am. Right? I don't even want to be Something here right now. Hit it. Murder, rape, kidnapping, sexual abuse. Child sexual abuse. Aggravated robbery. How long were you doing? Five years. How much longer did you have left to serve? 18 months. Why on earth would you break out of prison with it? Family. What's her <laughs> name? How far along is she? I don't want to talk about it. In two months, I just had my first trimester sonogram on Tuesday. Can't find a special audience. All right, first of all, I want to know. Hold on a second. I got to research this. I got to look this up because this is bugging the hell out of me. Because if, if they got, if they did that in the show, <laughs> bro, metformin is not a prenatal, is not for prenatal care. Unless I'm completely wrong. Okay. So it is something that's used during pregnancy. It's not necessarily for prenatal care. But it's the like, um, it's like to treat like obesity associated stuff, insulin resistance and um, polycystic ovary syndrome. I've never heard of that. So, okay. So it is something that can use. It's to like allevi alleviate certain things. Um, yeah. Yeah. I didn't know that it's something that, you know, a woman can take during pregnancy. I didn't know that. So forgive me, guys. I misjudged it because I was like, this information better be correct <laughs> because I know metformin. You know what I'm saying? But apparently there is something else I didn't know about it. So let's go. We got to roll. <clears throat> Why? They got tweener. It was in the radio. <clears throat> nice knowing y'all. Did they say anything about where we are? I'm not hanging around to find out. Maybe you should. Maybe we all should. No. Bag will have a screwdriver or something. Do we really need this, man? Yeah. I guess you decide to do something stupid like tip them off. Charles Westmoreland. God bless you and your wrinkled old sack. <laughs> it's all here. I owe you a profound thanks, Bray. Didn't y'all just hear that car pull up just now? They know he's coming, though. No mistakes. Let's get them clean.
Yo, he... like Yo, tweener. And I lied to you, all right? Oh. I wanted you to know. All right, so I'm gonna be writing you. I sure as hell hope that you write back. Okay, tweener. Respect, my guy. You finally did something. <laughs> Finally did something. <laughs> now you got a pen pal. Yeah, Somebody could do some conjugals sorry. with. <laughs> uh, contractor got some electrical issues. I, uh, I don't know what else to tell you. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. He's I'm pretty sure it's a Ferrari. We gotta get out of here. Cause once he gets to the club, he's gonna find out she's not there. He's gonna be back. Yo, what's up? Are you really going to shoot this dude in the it's woods? It's gonna be a long drive. Stretch your legs. This guy does not like being played. If I was you, I wouldn't get out of that car, bro. All right. Don't get, bro, stay in the car, man. More importantly, Bill, Governor Tancredi, not part of our plan. Last time I checked, you left no shortage of bodies in your wake. No, I did what I had to do to get Caroline where she is. Now that she's there, let's not draw any more attention than we have to. You think getting to the top is a hard part? She's a hundred times more visible. Has a hundred times more enemies. Anyone who knows anything has got to be dealt with. If someone is a liability, they go. Tancredi was becoming a liability. So it was his daughter. Wait, what? Sarah. That's not hers. Are they setting her up? Look, if you turn yourself in, man, I will would you gag this, this woman, please? If you cooperated, that can make a huge difference. Shut up. Be smart. You have a baby on the way. Do you want to be around for its second birthday or its 20th? Shut if up. you didn't want to hear what I had to say, if you didn't want to hear what a big mistake you were making, you would have put that gag back on me. Get out there! You can still do the right thing, Fernando. Would you gag this woman, please? Where's Sucre? Right here. What are you doing? Drop the pack. No one's going anywhere. No, I'm done, bro. I'm done. I think I owe you an apology. Because I lied to you. About Oscar Shells. Right there. That's where I put the bullet in him. So you killed him. Mistake about that is that forensics will tell the whole tale. Powder burns. The gun was right against his head. Yo, sir. I think we should go back to See, that's what's good about confession, you know, because you, you, you say something, you get it off your chest, and it just goes out there into the whole world. And I'm so sorry about this, kid, because I really hope you understand. Yo, yo. I got no nothing fault. against you, kid. What are you doing, man? But they do. How are you going to justify this? Bruh. Oh, hell, man. And just what we need, another crooked person. On the job. Just what we need, another crooked person, man. Oh my god. Episode 7, Season 2 is in the books. Prison Break. This show is... I don't even know what to say. 
I don't even know what to say, man. I am kind of lost for words. Because it, it's like, man, these guys can't catch a break. Every time something happens, there's always these something that happens. It's to keep the show exciting. But at the same time, the way how they're writing it, it doesn't even feel like it's made for excitement. It just feels like everything is naturally happening because you know what I'm saying? You know, when you watch like a prison break movie and you see things happening, it's like, there's no way that shit would have happened in real life. But the way how they portray the stuff in this show, it just feels like stuff will, you know, naturally, this is how it's, it would, it would happen because these on, I can imagine anybody in that situation, how unpredictable circumstances can be you never know and this is the reason why lincoln always warned him you know what i'm saying lincoln warned him and told him listen you can't trust anybody you know what i'm saying he's just so michael is such a trusting person he's such a trusting person you know what i'm saying like he kind of give out his trust a little bit too much kind of makes him a little gullible he's not very cautious about certain only certain people that has probably done something sketchy he's cautious about nobody would have ever thought that sucre would turn on him so that was a surprise and i knew it i was like this woman is talking this whole time why haven't you put the gag back on why are you having this conversation and that's why she said if you didn't want to have this conversation you could have put the gag back on a long time ago but you didn't right so he's in this position of he wants to get certain things off his chest and i think that's really what the kind of like the theme about the episode was according to what um agent mahone was saying and stuff like that about confession you know what i'm saying and just getting stuff off of your chest makes you feel so much better about situation he didn't want to hear didn't want to have the conversation but yet still you let her keep talking when you have the control to make her stop you get what i'm saying and now is he gonna turn the guys in or is he gonna take all the money and go is that what he's planning to do nobody knows also situation the governor we finally get someone on our side finally was gonna maybe crack this conspiracy wide open or something and they kill him they forced him to kill himself bro they, they probably said hey if you don't take yourself out we gonna kill your daughter i think that's what they i think that's probably what you know this kim guy that came in <laughs> this kim guy which i literally never like in any role that i've ever seen him in he's a classic bad guy role kind of guy i've never seen this guy play a good role it's 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 he's always a bad guy in everything that i've ever seen him in he's always a bad guy well that's just me he probably have played good girls but who cares classic black guys are classic bad guys kind of like you know when you see certain actors turn up and they're like playing a mob character or or a gangster or whatever you're like eh we get it <laughs> you know what i'm saying all right this is probably going to be a good character because that's all that that actor knows how to do well you know what i'm saying it's kind of one of those things so killing the governor man i think that was so low bro like man when i do think i have a hold on this series i really don't <laughs> i really don't um, so incredibly, incredible, incredible, incredible show, man. I can't stop giving the show praise because the writing right now is really what's carrying the show. Um, in my opinion, it's really what's carrying the show. Um, the acting again has picked up as well. Remember earlier on in the season, I was saying that the acting, you know, went back to that mediocre start they had at season one. They did the same thing in season two and then they started to pick it up again it's like they when they took a break before they started filming season two they kind of forgot <laughs> how to act especially with some of the performances as well but um they've really picked that up and gotten into the you know 
the the the, the way things were before um gotten into the swing of things if you will um so man lj has been released because they're trying to trap lincoln and that's what i said but i mean that the trap is so obvious it doesn't take us the audience to know that that's going on or for them to tell us that that was going on if i was lj's dad i would know in the situation that i would i would have been like i would have been asking some questions he better secretly try to to get lj because he can't just run out into open and be like oh i'm just gonna pick him up in front of the courthouse kind of thing because you know how lincoln is you know what i'm saying you know how he is he doesn't really think he's he's the the brawn you know what i'm saying michael's the brain and that's why michael is always encouraging him to think about it bro we we can get him but we just can't do it right now you can't just rush every time somebody is in trouble to go save him you gotta think first you are a fugitive my guy you're a fugitive you can't just be out there just doing it y'all almost got caught last time y'all went to the courthouse to get him and you trying to do the same thing again i mean seriously and now we're not gonna now we're just gonna sit down and wait to see what happens bro it's it's, it's crazy to me how he just just runs to towards danger for for his for his child and don't think in the situation that he's in versus what lj is in and i get it i think lincoln would rather go back to prison bro then you know make sure his kid is okay and i get that i get that sentiment but you gotta think man if he's being released there's gotta be a reason there's got to be a reason think about it bro if he's being released that simply means that he's going to be okay you get what i'm trying to say or if you're worried about him you know try to figure out a way to get in contact with him and tell him to come to you at least you know what i'm saying make sure he's not being followed all of that jazz there's ways that they can get to lj man but you can't just rush out there and try to get him like that it's just not gonna work I just don't feel like that's that's a good way to do it um so yeah man great episode man sarah is in trouble though and i hopefully i think she needs to find out what that key is for um i don't see sarah dying anytime soon i don't think they're gonna get to take her out i think she's i think i think paul is probably going to save sarah i think that's what's going to happen um i think now that paul is being kind of locked out of everything and he can't get to you know president lady whatever um now that she's in office right and she's the president now now that she is like i think paul is gonna turn on them i think he's gonna try to save sarah because he knows that sarah is a nice person and you know what i'm saying he was going along don't get me wrong paul you know what i'm saying paul is a brute He's a brute. He's an asshole. He's everything you don't want law enforcement to be. Kill, do whatever he needs to needs to do to, you know, get more power or put somebody else in power. Whatever it is, you know, what I'm saying he's 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 not my favorite character by any means. But if he saves Sarah, I'm all for it because at the end of the day, he's someone that can protect Sarah. And maybe he wants to divulge some truth to her as well because they kind of locking him out of everything and you know he, he don't want that it's like yo y'all don't want to see me you're telling me to report to a subordinate like you locking me out for what for all the things that i know come on now come on now and he could move differently as well so we'll see um how things go i don't know man i'm scared for him because i feel like he's probably going to end up saving sarah and they're gonna just take him out because that's what they're doing they're pretty much taking out everybody that has anything to do with this to leave no paper trail at all anything that could lead back to the president anything about this lincoln bars thing anybody that's linked to it they're just gonna take them out they don't care about anything bro they're just trying to protect themselves getting super excited for nothing i thought the governor was gonna bust this thing wide open nah bruh they took that chance away immediately and it's one of the things I love about the show. Again, <laughs> anyways, guys, just when we get some hope, they just, whoosh, nope, nope. You see hope, how you don't. 
you see hope now you don't <laughs> that's, that's what it is um so man it's it's just crazy to see but anyways guys thank you guys so much for tuning in man is all i have to say about this episode man it was great i'm finally gonna take a break now from watching this show pretty much all day um it's been a great time been a you know what i'm saying just watching these seven episodes man it, it's it's been great um so i'm probably not gonna record it i'm probably gonna record some episodes tomorrow as well um but i'm definitely done watching prison break for today i will pick back up maybe watch a few more episodes tomorrow um not that you care and as i said my reviews i just talk about whatever then it's I have no concern to you guys sometimes the stuff that i be saying but <laughs> it is what it is um so hit the like button in the, uh, and leave a comment man don't forget that if you want to watch more episodes by the time you're watching this for you finish watching this episode we should be probably into season three by now so make sure you go check it out if you want to watch more episodes and watch them in advance the episodes are available on patreon so make sure you go check that out if you want to you don't have to you can join membership or you can join patreon i give people options every time also don't forget to like the video don't forget to comment it's free it's free <laughs> anyways thank you guys so much man i appreciate y'all and i will see you guys for the next one man peace